the law enforcement family this is your show here we talk about all things leo family life the good the bad the funny and the sad and everything in between the blue family unity show was created written and produced by elsa kurt music written and produced by dan tracy Hello, welcome back to the show. Today's episode, we have a special guest. It is Jason from Caps for Cops. And uh, I'm going to let him tell you all about it. The most I'm going to tell you right now is that it's a fantastic organization doing great things for law enforcement and uh, for citizens as well. So uh, it's going to be a really great show. I'm excited to have him on here. So stay tuned. Hey, family, I am inviting you today to join me as a member of LET Unity. That is Law Enforcement Today Unity, where they are bridging the gap between civilians and civil servants. This site is amazing. It is being called the Netflix of the law enforcement community. Now, what do you get with membership? You get VIP service, which is events, promotions, and special services for members from America's most patriotic businesses. LET Unity gives back. They reinvest profits into telling the untold stories of emergency responders, vets, and patriots across America. And you get exclusive content episodes of some of the most patriotic content in America, unique shows, podcasts, and more. You'll get unlimited access to all stories, and you'll be part of an amazing community. Today, with my code BLUEFAMILY, you'll save 10% on membership. So join LET Unity today. All right. So today's guest is Jason from Caps for Cops. And uh, I'm going to just ask you to tell us about you and your organization. Okay. Well, I am a police officer. I'm over here in Vermont. Our board of directors is made up of former and active law enforcement officers. So that that's pretty neat. We founded this nonprofit organization and our main mission is to help end the divide between citizens and the police and um, we do this several different ways we have several different promos that, that we use this um, but our main goal is to try to just flood social media with just positive stories of law enforcement pictures of smiling police officers uh, you don't see that too much nowadays. It's all hate, hate, and discontent, and it's just getting, you know, out of control. So here we are. I think we're our third year. We've we've been involved as a nonprofit, and um, you know, we're gaining followers and everything like that. And um, yeah, it's fantastic. Now, what got you started with that? I mean, because this is a pretty unique idea. This is recycling bottle caps and uh, using the money that you guys raise from that to uh, fund or, or award different uh, departments or police officers for either what, like going above and beyond and, uh, and things like that, right? So uh, who came up with this idea? Because this is like brilliant. It's out of the box. Well, that would be... Um... That would be Josh Ingram. He's over in Texas. He was our founding, you know, he was our founder. Um, he is no longer with us because he's so busy with his police officer career. I'm on the tail end of mine, but he's just mm -hmm. starting it. So um, when when he first started, he, he was at a concert and he saw all these bottle caps everywhere. And he's like, yeah, I wonder how much money uh, we could raise just if we collected all these bottle caps. And then he was thinking, well, if we got any money, what would we do with it? So then he thought that he'd help out the police. Well, I joined the organization within a year after they were formed. And then uh, apparently they liked me because we restructured and they made me the executive director. La de da. Um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> but um, it, it takes, we still collect bottle caps to this day. So if anybody has bottle caps and want to send it to me, uh, check us out, you know, our webpage, they can grab our, you know, our mailing address there, send them out. 
That's uh, uh, capsforcops.org, correct? Yeah. Caps for correct. cops. The number, the number four. The number it's not four. the. Gotcha. Yep. Awesome. So then, once I started going on here, um, I realized that it, it takes a lot of bottle caps to get a little bit of money. And right. as I'm sitting there, I'm looking at my house because you know we get snow up in Vermont. And uh, mm -hmm. I'm looking over and I, I'm seeing this roached out barbecue grill that I got to get rid of and I got to pay to get rid of it. And then I'm seeing this lawnmower and I'm like, yeah, that lawnmower's kind of old. I got to get a new lawnmower. Well, what the hell am I going to do with the old one? I got to get rid of it. So I'm sitting there going, hmm, I wonder, you know, so if I was going to bring all of those up to the scrap people mm -hmm. and they would give me money for it, I'm like, well, can I get a couple of dumpsters, put them in a central location and have everybody around just throw away their free stuff? So that's what we started to do three years ago. And mm -hmm. um, within, we didn't keep track the first year of how much total scrap that we collected. But the past two years, we collected 22 tons of scrap metal. 22 just, tons. Wow. That's just one city, one town and in one state that's it's amazing just Vermont, just and Vermont. you are and you are nationwide now right yeah. and this is across the yeah. nation okay if anybody in any state wants to do a scrap drive for caps for cops i'll set mm -hmm. it up I'll, I'll generate everything that we need to do to get things going and then we we could go that route we're slowly starting to get state representatives and we're trying to get them on board to go ahead with these programs more and more so we're we're growing every every little by leaps and bounds every day we're growing um so what we did was is we recycled, I mean, and all of that scrap metal that we recycled that we collected, like old broken down chairs and aluminum siding and I mean, everything. I'll take a DM car if people want to give it to me, I'll take it. Mm -hmm. But um, everything that gets collected, it goes up there, it gets recycled. We use that money to help fund our mission. You know, it's amazing. We, so within our mission, we have like four different things that we do. Um, we have one award that's called the Beyond the Badge Award. That award is for officers that have gone above and beyond the call of duty and asked for absolutely nothing in return. You know, we've given three of those out already. Wow. Uh, we just barely, just barely gave one out to a gentleman in Vermont. Um, he's pretty awesome. I mean, he was a school resource officer and he noticed that this kid was having issues at school and he noticed that the kid wasn't in school. Notice he was having a hard time and everything else. So he said, I'm just going to drive around town and take a peek and look for him. Sees the kid on the bridge contemplating getting ready to jump to commit suicide. He pulls in there, acts quick, talks the kid down out of it, gets the kid the help that he needs. And that's exactly why we need school resource officers around. People that care about their job and care about the kids in the schools. So we went ahead and we gave him an award, a beautiful etched, you know, slate thing. We, it, it, it's, it's nothing, but it's something because it, we're saying thank you. And we're right. trying to broadcast this individual into the limelight that nobody else cares about. I've issued press releases out for him, press releases mm -hmm. for everything I've done. And I'm hearing crickets from yeah. the press. Yes. Absolutely. Um, an, another one that we do is we have one that's called Be the Change, mm -hmm. where we want to broadcast and we want to focus on individuals and organizations that are the change that this world needs nowadays. So what we do is we just showcase them a little bit. I make a video about them and we send them out some blue line roofs and cuff. Nice. Uh, next yes. month, next month is going to be Officer Parker. Oh yeah. Of, uh, out of Maryland. You know, so we picked him. I let him know about it. So he'll be looking for the video and everything out there. Outstanding gentleman. He's helping us out with our next promo that we're doing. Uh, mm -hmm. That's called our Helmets from Heroes. So what we did was all the money that we recycled, that we got recycled money from, uh, from all the scrap, we bought bicycle helmets. We have several programs in Vermont that are like, hey, the cops have a couple of um, 
you know, ice cream certificates. So if they see a kid wearing a bike helmet, they give them a certificate. The kid goes out and, hey, great, I was wearing my helmet. You know, I'm doing everything correctly. Great program. But what about the kids that don't have a helmet? Right. So what we did was, is we wanted to think outside the box. So we used the money that that's basically junk money that, that mm-hmm. we got from, you know, from junk. Right. Um, that, that's why our mascot is the raccoon because raccoons scurry through yes. the garbage. I love it. I love it. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> we took the money from that and we bought like a thousand dollars worth of bike helmets and we just shipped them out to people all over in Vermont and whatnot. Oh. And then we had a coffee promo that we went ahead and we started launching it nationwide. Um, I gave Officer Parker like 10 bike helmets. So mm-hmm. he's hopefully going to drop those off to kids. Uh, we gave some down to my buddy down in um, North Carolina. We got some over in Utah. We got some down in Florida and, you know, all over. We're actually getting a award. I was just notified that we're getting a award in Vermont from the Vermont Highway Safety Alliance for this program on helping wow. out individuals and highway roadway safety. So, I mean, that's the only big press that we're ever getting. It's amazing. It's we live in a sad time when uh, positive news and positive actions get ignored by the you know mainstream media, and um, and it's amazing. And and what you're doing is really and what you're recognizing in these police officers is is a fraction of all the good that's out there. And uh, and I love your you know part of your mission. I love your whole mission statement. But part of your mission statement is uh, your organization. Help is as there to help end the divide between citizens and and police and programs like what you're doing I think are so impactful because it's really it really is the kids the youth who uh, you know because you know what a, a lot of adults have already formed their opinions and you know maybe you can't change their minds but when you're getting to the kids and you're showing them the truth the truth of policing uh, the the truth of their whole existence uh, it, it's it, that stays with them you know I mean I, we were. <laughs> It was, I don't, I'm not going to speak for you, but for me, it was a long time ago, but the littlest things impacted and stayed with me for life. And, and, you know, one of them was an interaction with a police officer. Uh, actually, I was a teenager. I wasn't a little kid, but I was a teenager. And uh, his, his compassion and kindness always stayed with me. And these are the things that get overlooked um, until people like you and your organization come around and say, no. We're, we're going to acknowledge this. We're going to make sure other people see it and see what they do. And, and I think that's such an incredible and unbelievably needed thing in this time. So uh, I, I love it. Um, and all we of have, these extensions. Go ahead. We have one that's called Thank an Officer. And, mm-hmm. um, and, and, and I tell this story to people. Um, well, actually, I got a story about the helmet one. But... Mm-hmm. Um, uh, let me do the helmet one first. Sure. Um, I, I gave my buddy five helmets over there mm-hmm. in, in central Vermont. I gave him five helmets. I said, here you go, dude, five helmets. There you go. He takes a picture, bang, bang. Um, he comes to me like two days later and he goes, hey, do we have any more helmets? I'm like, I just gave you five helmets. Man. <laughs> he goes, I gave all five of them out. I'm wow. like, what? what? <laughs> and then he tells me the story. And the story of this is an amazing story. The story of it is um, he sees this this father with this group of kids out playing on the and you know, on the park, and they're riding bikes and you know one of those little push scooters and everything else that he, they need a helmet on. None of them have a helmet. None yeah. of them. So he walks over there and he says, "Excuse me, sir, I want to talk to you about your kids not wearing helmets." And the guy thought he was in trouble, and he's like, "Oh." oh. Uh, officer, let me tell you, I just barely moved to this area. I have no idea. You know, I'm just, I'm just trying, I'm broke. I'm really trying to get off the ground here. And I swear to you, I promise to you, when I first get my paycheck, the first thing I'm going to do is, is go get helmets for the kids. And my buddy let him go off and just keep talking because he knew, he knew we had five helmets in the car. He goes, right. well, let me tell you, sir, I'll make a deal with you. <laughs> the guy hmm. goes, Okay. He goes, I'll give you each a helmet for each one of your kids if they pose for a picture for me. 
And the guy goes, you're kidding me. So he tells him the story. Hey, cast for cops. They got the bike helmets, the helmets from heroes. And the father, he said to me that the father actually started to break down and cry. Oh, this. So oh I my was heart. Like, this, I said, this is exactly why we do these things that yes. we do. Because we get to outreach to kids and the parents together and say, right. listen, you know, we want you to run to us, not away from us. Exactly. We want you to run to us for things. Right. You know, we're doing this to make sure that you're safe. We're not, we don't want to wake up in the morning and go, you know what? Today I'm going to write 500 tickets today. I'm going to, I'm right. going to, I might, I might even arrest somebody or two, you know? No, that doesn't happen. But we do have a program, back to what I was saying, we do have a program <laughs> called Thank an Officer. And this program here is just, you know, uh, your husband's a police officer. I love challenge coins. I oh, love yeah. Challenge coins. Yeah, they're great. I love them. So, you know, um, give me a challenge coin and I'll, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, so I like coffee, too. Yes. I like my I like, my I like your I like your mug. I think I need to order one. I wish I had thought to order one one before we did this, and we both could have drank our our coffees and held up our mugs. That's all right. The next the next the next episode, I'll order one. Next. Um, so we hand out a coffee card and we mm -hmm. give them a challenge coin. Nice. Nothing nothing big, nothing huge, nothing spectacular, but it but it it's just something. And, you know, when I started going over there, you know, and some officers, they're like, yeah, you know, thank you. You know, I appreciate it. And, uh, you know, I, I, I walk up to police officers and, you know, I said, hey, you know, I just want to let you know that, you know, people are out there thinking of you. People are out there that care about you. Don't think that you're sitting here doing this job in vain. Don't think that, that everybody hates you because nobody hates you. You right. know, I'm like. Thank you for leaving your families to go protect other families and stay safe and have a coffee on us. So here's a coffee card and a coin. And when I walked up to this guy, he was just like, what do you want? You know, and then all of a sudden I gave him a coin and he just lit right up. You know, uh -huh. and I told that story. I told that story to people and they don't believe me. But mm -hmm. then we were down in Disney and we were down there at Hollywood Studios, and I saw this gentleman, and he was in his car. And my wife goes, you know, because we're getting ready to go in. It's at the end of the day, you know, the sun's going down, you know, so we're going to the park. And my wife goes, you're not just going to walk over here to that cop's cruiser, are you? I said, hell yeah. <laughs> you know, so I go walking right over there. She goes, well, I'm going to stay back because, you know, I think he's going to start yelling at you. I said, no, you won't. You know, so he right. walks over, you know, he looks over to me. He's you know, like diddling on his phone. He looks mm -hmm. over because he's got the door open, you know, and right. I'm like, yo, yo, what up? <laughs> he's like, hey, what's going on? And I'm like, hey, so I gave him the whole spiel, you know? Yep. Hey, I work for, work for a nonprofit, blah, blah, blah. You know, yeah, here you go. And my wife goes, what did you give him? Because he just lit right up like a Christmas um, tree, he mm -hmm. like a kid at Christmas. Yeah. He ended up giving me a challenge coin back. Oh, you know? cool. This, this, so it, it's just like, it's just awesome. You know, it is. there's no thank you back to me that's required, but right. you know, that was just cool. That was just yeah. cool. Um, but, you know, we got to thank so many different police officers down there. Like, I'd be walking through one of the parks, and I'd see him. And, oh, and those guys got a tough job. Don't think yeah, that they those do. guys in those parks, you know, they're right. dealing with parents with, with high, high, high expectations. They're dealing yes. with, you know, everything like that. Um, yeah. So, so <laughs> true. Off, you know. People forget, you know, we uh, we forget as a society because we're so wrapped up in ourselves and, and I include myself in that. I'm not excluded from that, that we forget the simple act of kindness. One little act of kindness can change the course of someone's day, maybe even change the course of someone's life. And uh, it's so impactive. So, and you're so right. Just that act of thanking someone for their service. And, and especially, of course, because we're talking law enforcement, uh, which has been such a largely thankless job, uh, particularly, obviously, over the last couple of years. And uh, I, I heard a really interesting statistic that really made me pause. And it was that 85% of the country, of the population, 
actually does support and back the blue. So what that means is that the percentage of people that are anti-police is extremely small. The problem is, is they're the vocal ones and they run the platforms so that that message gets spread and that dictates the, the perception. So the perception of everyone, including myself, especially our law enforcement officers, is that, you know, the world is against them. And, it, and thankfully, people like you uh, go around and remind them and let them know that that is not the case. You are you are so loved, you're so appreciated, and you're so valuable to our communities. And um, I do see, and tell me if you think so too, I do feel like the tide is turning. I feel like the quiet majority or the silent majority is beginning to speak up and say enough 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 is enough at this point have you noticed that or not so much i think the focus is being taken off of police and on to other things so mm -hmm. I, I i think they're looking more i mean we had an argument here in vermont about flying the american flag for pete's sakes you know i'm just like yeah. are, are you are you kidding me are you is, seriously are you kidding me right. i personally want to go buy the biggest flag i know and just hang it from wherever the hell i can so everybody Same. i think i'm gonna i'm gonna paint you know, my house red white and blue what do you think of that no, it's, <laughs> it's just it's just ridiculous you know this whole hurt feeling and you know i don't want to hurt everybody you know what what happened to pride what happened to right. you know what happened to the original september 12th you know, the day mm -hmm. after September 11, where you couldn't buy an American flag because everybody bought them already and they're yes. hanging them up. You know, that's 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 something. Everybody's focused on one thing. You know, right. it's not so much your focus on police so much anymore, mm -hmm. but it, it, it's still a rough, thankless job. Um, I personally work for two other nonprofits, mm -hmm. you know, um, one of them is call for backup and okay. what they do is suicide prevention and awareness for the first responder. And we teach this class to any first responder, police, fire, EMS, dispatch, corrections. We, we teach that out there. And, and that whole thing is for um, awareness mm -hmm. and prevention, both. Nice. Tell me the name of that one again. That is call for backup. Okay, we'll make sure oh, we get a word. link for that too when we. Uh, uh, and let me tell you, if you need somebody on your show, mm -hmm. um, the gentleman David Edwards, he is the president of Call for Backup. Amazing, okay. amazing man. You need him on your show. He's just yeah, awesome. Absolutely, awesome. I will hunt him down and and yep. egg him. And, and the other nonprofit, him. the other nonprofit I work for is Survivors of Blue Suicide. Yeah, that is yes. the organization from cops it's an out branch from cops mm -hmm. i'm on the founding committee so i help be one of the founding members of that um that helps take care of the aftercare if there is a blue suicide right. um not many people know this but my father was a trooper and he committed suicide back in 1979. Wow. we had nothing there was no yeah. programs out there to help and right. it's, but i'm glad to be a part of this system that mm -hmm. provides care and 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 help out for for these family members and individuals that that are this so i'm i'm constantly and 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 i work my regular job and i'm a part-time officer for like four different departments wow wow well I you, you answered my it. question <laughs> <laughs> I I was going to ask you what was your motivation? What inspired you to do all these incredible things that you're doing? And I I understand now a big part of your motivation. And um, you know that to me. And I know you're gonna you know balk and you're gonna be like no no no. But that to me is you know one of the definitions of uh, of a hero because what you're doing is you're taking. I knew you're gonna do. I know you're gonna shake your head. I can say it. You can't I'm stop about me. me. It's about others. It's about, I, it's always that, about it, others. I totally understand, but that's why I get to call you a hero, and I know that you will never call yourself that. I totally understand, but I get to say it. Sorry, uh, and I'm not taking it back either. Uh, but this is, you know, the epitome of that, that one, it's the selflessness that always gets me right in the heart. And two, it's that you took something that is truly, truly, and I know you don't want to make this about you, but give me two seconds to make it about you, if you don't mind. 
Um, I, I love the fact that you took something so negative and so terrible and devastating and you made good things come of that. So what a way to honor your father, really. Uh, by doing what you're doing. And of course, uh, just being the type of person that you are to do this, along with the people that you work with in in these organizations. It's just, uh, it's incredible. And I'm so, so excited to do my small part to help you get the word out. And you have a much bigger and better platform than I do. So I'm really excited um, <laughs> that you're doing these things. Um, what, go ahead. This is exactly what we all need is we all need this like blue wall coalition of nonprofits and everyone else to just help each other out. Yes. And, uh, you know, I created a, a couple of different groups on Facebook and I went, Hey, you're a nonprofit. Bang. I invited them in. I'm like, here's the deal. I invite all my friends in. You invite mm -hmm. all your friends in. I let my followers know. You let your followers know. We're introducing everybody to everything. And this yes. way we all can have our own little focus. And, uh, mm -hmm. you know, that, that group is just taken off. You know? That's and, fantastic. Uh, I'll give you a link to it. I think it's called uh, Thin Blue Voices. Okay. I think that's what it's called. It's a group on Facebook. Um, plus our, our um, Caps for Cops, we have a group. And that's called Beyond the Badge group. We post things in there. People can post things. If they know that there's an officer that they want to recognize or as a Beyond the Badge, they, they fire me off a message and let me know. Right. Um, we, we've done three. We mm -hmm. hope to do more. Right. But it takes money. It takes money to do that. You know, I mean, and, and we, we get our money from garbage, <laughs> you right. know, um, you know, we don't sit out there and we don't do, you know, coin raffles, and, you know, mm -hmm. coin drops. We did do two poker runs, which was pretty neat. I don't ride oh, motorcycle, cool. but one, right. of my, one of my partners does, uh, one of my board members. And so he ropes me into helping, <laughs> you know, and yeah. I'm like, like bikes but you know right yep cool. i get it it was cool you know it was interesting it was cool um i have a hard enough time riding a schwinn for pete's sake <laughs> I'm right, listen i'm right there with you we get our money we fund our mission from the scrap metal we fund right. our mission from the bottle caps and we fund our mission from like if you buy a cup or you buy a t-shirt sweatshirt whatever we get a percentage of those proceeds that's where we get our money from um so yeah all of those links are all on our web page caps to number four cops.org you can find out all of our stuff through there um we got all of our stuff through the amazing people that defend the line yes they carry all of our stuff they're amazing people uh, mm -hmm. It's a wicked good cup, too. Yeah, it is. That's a beauty right there. I love you know, it. That is a must and it have. Holds a, and it holds a lot of coffee. The program worked out with um, Blue Line Roasting Coffee. Oh, okay. If they go to Blue Line Roasting Coffee mm -hmm. and they order whatever coffee they want, they have coffee cups, they have swag and hats and what, they order whatever they want. And if they, at the very end, if they write in the caps for cops with the number 10, mm -hmm. they will receive 10% off their entire order. That's a fantastic as well as deal. get as well as get free shipping. Nice. What a great deal. We're gonna put all of these links in the show's notes so that everybody can get to you and get to all these incredible, fantastic resources and goodies. Um, with ease and comfort. <laughs> um, We're hey, even you know, on TikTok now. <gasps> what? That's, where I was that's TikTok. right. You know that's my favorite place. You know that's my my happy place. Even when it's not that's so where, happy. That's where I found you on TikTok. I'm like, hey, that's there's right. another top person. I said, <laughs> hey, I got a like. Yeah. 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 I know. And you know, it's so funny. As soon as uh, we got on our little Zoom chat here, I feel like I've known you forever. I'm like, there's my buddy. I'm like, oh, wait, we haven't actually met. No, but there's my buddy. Now you have, you have that easy, you, you, you could, well, I don't want to tell you that you could be a car salesman, but you technically could sell cars without even trying. Cause you just have like a, a really great, well, friendly, easy personality. Very nice. I like it. If you're a police officer in Vermont. Yeah. You need to be a good salesman because my backup, no crap, mm -hmm. was 45 minutes away. 
Really? Wow. Really? 45 minutes away. So it's like you have to let these people think that you're oblivious to the fact that there's a screwdriver stuck into the side of the car and there's no right. key in it. And mm -hmm. you just think that's normal. You know, it's like, oh, right. that's cool. Yeah. You know? So lovely weather we're having. <laughs> you know, meanwhile, meanwhile, I got back up screaming and I'll be here within the hour. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. That's um, that's a totally different experience than what most have. And Backup's usually not that far away. If your radio signal gets out to dispatch. Oh boy. Yeah, Vermont is beautiful, but uh for that aspect, probably not so great. <laughs> not so great. Oh my goodness. All right, last thing I want to ask you about. This sure. is pretty cool. Is um I kind of know so I, I scoured your your website, the capsforcops.org, and uh, I noticed oh, that you guys have I love that. You guys have some um, pretty cool shout outs from some um, very recognizable names and faces. That is pretty cool. So you guys are really getting out there. Uh, who, who are some of the, the big names? I know I'm pretending like I don't know, but go ahead and tell us some of the big names. It, well, we got a shout out from Officer Baker. Uh, Officer Baker is actually a police chief down over in Kentucky. Mm -hmm. And he has a big social media following and he's a wicked cool dude. Um, we actually got some of those off of, um, cameo, okay. you know, so it's like most of those guys, they donate the money to, mm -hmm. to other organizations and things. So that's why we don't mind paying for that. And they sure. don't mind doing it because they look and they find out that we're a nonprofit and they look at mm -hmm. what we're doing. They, of right. course, they have the, you know, the obligation to say no, if they wish, you know, if they sure. don't have to do a shout out if they don't want to. Mm -hmm. So, so we got officer Baker, you know, and we got uh, Emery King, he's done a couple of different skits with officer Baker. Mm -hmm. And then we got one from the gentleman that, that, uh, he starred in Super Troopers. That's uh, cool. <laughs> you know, and they call me Farva, and he was Officer Rabbit. And um, yeah, and you you That's go awesome. check that out. I I put that on our uh, our web page as well. He says, "Oh yeah, there I was chugging maple syrup with your Vice President Farva and everybody." You know. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome and, and, oh and, and and my partner my buddy that's on the board with me he tells me that he's going to actually get the gentleman who plays farva to do a, a shout out for us <laughs> because they call me farva they've been calling right. me farva for the past 18 years that's Ever since hilarious when I, first, when I first became a police officer the movie mm -hmm. just hit and of course yep. hello cop vermont that movie's called <laughs> Officer, you know. So then everyone's like, "Oh my God, Farva's pulling me over." Yeah, you're getting a ticket, dude. You're getting, That's all. Yeah, just for that, just for that, right? <laughs> you know, now I'm at the point where you know, uh, 18 years into it, if you can't beat them, join them. Hell with it. Go ahead. Call Absolutely. Me yeah. <laughs> Yep, just just own it. The harder you try and fight it, the harder they're gonna push it. So that's all they know whatever. me as Harvo. Oh, hey, yeah. dude, Harvo, you know. So <laughs> like, uh, I did pause for a moment when I saw you come into the chat. I'm like, Harvo. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Um. So and oh, you have uh, you have somebody else. Um pretty really cool uh jumping on board with you guys officer parker who i oh think yes is awesome. absolutely amazing he's going to be coming on uh, my show uh i think uh it might be next i think it's next week and uh, i'm a huge fan of his uh i love his message i love his energy and uh and i i love he's got the same idea as you guys as as all of us um pro police vocal advocates which is bridging that divide between the public and and uh the public servants. So uh, yeah, what you got some, yeah, what do you have going on with him? I reached out to him and I said, hey, um, you know, cause he, he must've been bored one night or something. And uh, he, he put out like a message saying, hey, I'm here available to talk to people if they want. Well, I've been firing off messages for him that just, he's just so busy, he doesn't get any of them. Right. So he immediately messaged me back, said, hey, write me up on this line here and we'll chat. My phone's getting bland basted mm -hmm. by stuff. So I'm like, all right, dude. You know, so then he he hits me back up and I'm like, dude, I want to send you a challenge coin and let me send you this and that, you know, a coffee card. Thank you. And, you know, I said, would you be interested in sending out some uh, 
you know, some bike helmets. So I gave him some photos of, you know, like what we're doing, helmets from Heroes. Hmm. And he's like, yeah, ship them down. We'll do it. So he did. He just gave me a picture of him with our helmets that we gave him. Nice. So I'll be posting that within today or tomorrow or so. Mm -hmm. And um, we plan on having him be our next month's Be The Change, where we'll send him some coffee and some things like that. So, you know, I'm glad that we get to work with him a little bit on some things. Yeah, that's um, terrific. I, I, I can't wait. He's doing great things down there. And, man, he's a, that's a tough area. They, uh, yes. Where he is down there. Mm -hmm. that's a, that, that's a tough area and um he he's just you know he he's got to be the change mission too so it's mm -hmm. like hey ooh. <laughs> you know um yeah so that's cool i never met him but when i was driving to florida and back you know i said dude i'm, I'm waving to you as i'm driving by that's funny <laughs> I go, the hell with it you didn't wave back but i waved anyways <laughs> Listen, you got to try, right? Now, he's, he's a great dude. I'm glad you guys are, are hooking up with him to do stuff. And uh, I haven't met him either. I'm talking like we're pals. Like, Officer Parker and I go way back. No, I don't know him either. I just know of him. And I know the work that he's doing. And, and I agree, he's, uh, he's doing some really great stuff. And uh, and I love it. So let's one more time before sure. we uh, close out here. One more time. Tell everybody again exactly where to find you. Okay. We're CAPS the number four, and then cops. And you can find us on Facebook, LinkedIn, um, TikTok. Yeah. We're on Instagram. It's caps, F-O-R, cops. So that's where we're there. And then um, our webpage is caps4cops.org. And if anybody wants to reach out for me and nominate an officer or they want to be a state representative and they want to help out in whatever state that they live in, they can email me directly. And that's Jason, J-A-S-O-N, at caps4cops.org. Beautiful. Beautiful. Well, thank you so, so much for coming on and sharing all these incredible things that you guys are doing uh with us and uh i i just i can't wait to see all the things you guys are going to do it's it's such a uh it's such a cool thing to watch progress and and happen and uh i can't thank you enough for doing what you do so thank you i appreciate you having us absolutely anytime all right guys that was jason from caps for cops you heard it all here and we will have all of those links for you in the show's notes so make sure you go check them out help them out nominate an officer donate some scraps and stuff metal scraps not like your food scraps because that would be gross uh but you get the idea so thanks guys and we'll see you next time <laughs>